Okay. Welcome to the Weasley Update. I am yeeched, and I am ready to fucking ramble. Woo, we are here. It is uh, episode 11, and I am here with the D-man himself, Derek Tebow. What's up, dude? What up? I am so fucking glad you were finally on this. I'm so glad we're doing this. We've been talking about it for a fucking minute. I know. From a very long time ago, I felt the, the need to come on, and you know, I'm glad it's happening as well. Dude, I mean, we've been talking about not even just this, but podcast shit for well over a year at this point. Yeah, you know, you've told me a lot that I should do it and I should be a guest and stuff. And, you know, you're you're right. This time that you asked me, I just fucking figured, why not? Fuck yeah, dude. Well, I'm, it's also just awesome that it came up organically. This whole, this is like, this setup is just ten times more organic than it usually is when I'm by myself. Because it, it feels like almost uh, like that 70s show in here. We're just fucking stoned as fuck shooting the shit in the garage sitting around a little makeshift table <laughs> yes yeah, wood panels everywhere speaking of which i'm gonna fucking load myself up another bowl i um you know i've just been taking it easy so much that one bowl has been getting me fucking ripped dude and not yesterday but the day before i didn't smoke at all so yesterday when i smoked that's why i got so stoned i was telling you this earlier that i got so stoned i fucking went to my parents room three times like thinking my throat was collapsing or something yeah dude i'm i'm with you on 420 i i like fasted until like 6 p.m and chugged 100 milligram one of those drinks you know? oh that's right those 20 dollar drinks and uh you know it was fun but there was like a good you know 10 minute period of just like pure stress and anxiety of like my heart was hurting my lungs were hurting like after a while my i felt like fucking everything was hurting so i just you know went on a walk and Watched the last dance on my fucking phone, walking on the side of the road up by my house, and cars were just driving by me and shit. It was, and then that calmed me right the fuck down. Wow. Yeah, good a good walk will do it. I I remember you called me. I had to man. No yeah. one was no one was available. My parents, I couldn't tell I them remember. really. They were sitting right next to me, and like I don't really know what I look like from the outside, but. From the inside, I did not feel fucking good. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I feel comfortable to go tell my parents that. Because, like, the first time I came in, I prefaced it by being like, look, I'm really baked right now, but, like, I think my throat is fucked up. Three times. My mom was telling me today that I was, like, shaking. Oh, yeah, I, I was dude, really no. freaked out. No, I, I fucking get it. Weed, it's a fucking... It's a mysterious type of thing, man. I love it. I feel like it calms me down, but half the time I take it and I'm like more amped up than I even fucking was before I smoked it. And yeah, I, you know, I'm trying to get off of it. You know, I've been saying that for a long time and I'm not, you know, going to say I'm, I'm like trying to get off it right this second, but in general, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm feel like I've had my run with it. It's done. It's been a lot of fun times, but I'm just kind of ready to to move on to drinking instead. You know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I was did. gonna say I totally would have been with you until that last. No, it's fucking just like <laughs> that is so I'm trying funny. to kick the nicotine. I've been packing zins and fucking. That's that. I know that can't be good for me. I don't even know if the verdict's out on what those do. Yeah, so I'm fucking just hoping it's not bad. Um, yeah, well, that's the thing. Is like so much of this shit is so new that we're not gonna be able to tell for a while. I know. And, like no. vaping, who knows yeah. what oh, that shit's gonna be? Oh, like like you know, uh, nicotine vape. Yeah, yeah. Dude, no. cartridges too. I was thinking the cartridges too. Like I've had some of those that just leave this like feeling in my lungs of just pain and this horrible my throat. I know, like it burns, like you're on fucking fire, and I just am like whatever that was that just absorbed into my cells, and <laughs> there was not a good fucking thing and it stresses me out man. okay but the drinks sound like they're working for you man like i i didn't think the drinks were gonna be shit yeah but dude 100 milligrams it hits you like, I guess i'm you stoned as shit right too. now oh i don't think we mentioned before this i drank oh you drank another one Oh, did I not? Me and Jake no, you, went um, to the. You told me you took an edible, but I just yeah. assumed it was like. No, it was a hundred. It was a hundred one twenty dollars. Fucking down the drain. Wow. But it's it's fun. That you know, sounds you, worth it. You can't me. do them a lot, but fucking maybe once a week you can get away with. Even then, it's painful. That's it. That's they're just shitty to take down. Oh yeah, they're shitty to take down. But I mean, that's eighty bucks. Yeah, that's no, part of the right. reason why I was saying I'm trying you're to get right. off the wheel a little bit because that's eighty fucking bucks. You know? Yeah, but that's also just. 
like one of the least cost effective ways to do it. It is, and you know, I don't. It's kind of the same thing. Like, I, it's maybe a little bit better than smoking, but I, I can't imagine it's much better for you. Whatever those fucking, there's no ingredients list on it. You can't even see what you're fucking. Shut the fuck up. No, dude, I checked it out. It's just a fucking label, and it just says how much is in there, and then that's it. You know, one time Colvin and I went into this, uh, smoke shop. I will leave nameless in Bellevue, right by Bellevue College. You know exactly where I'm talking about. We have to leave it. Like, we have to leave it nameless. Yeah, just, just shout them out. Just, They're a good smoke shop. Just well, uh, not, it, not, not for this story. <laughs> no, nah, like okay, cause okay, like yeah, here's I what guess. I'll say. I like it. Uh, mostly overwhelmingly awesome. Yeah, experience. I, I love, I that, love place. that place. But um, free stickers. That's but, really cool. Really, yeah, I didn't know that. All the time. But, um, yeah, I've got a rewards program there still. Badass. I like that. Uh, but I went in there one time with Cole, and I don't even remember what we got, but. As we were leaving, he asked me if we were interested in fucking... Oh, God, I don't know. It's like this powder. I feel like Creatine? it started with like... No, the, no it Kratom. started with like... Cra- yes, I okay. knew exactly Kratom. what I, I couldn't fucking remember. But we... Uh, yeah, so he's like showing us this powder stuff. And he's got this big fucking binder that he's flipping through. And he stops and he's like... So there's some stuff I can't tell you about because it's still at a weird place with the FDA right now. <laughs> but, and then kept going and we were like, yeah, I'm good, We want the dude. weird shit. <laughs> yeah, that's so fuck. I don't want to try that shit. No, me neither. But, that's just, uh, that's ass. Fucking Spice, that sounds scary. Dude. Yeah, Spice was like just sold in groceries or fucking gas stations, I mean, for like kind of a long time, I think. Am I wrong? I might be totally wrong. I might be making I have, that up. I have no idea. I think for a while you could get like or maybe it was like called K two. Like I'm talking about like synthetic weed. I know, I know exactly. You could, what the fuck? I might be totally wrong. I'm just gonna drop that one. But I think for a while you could have gotten in the fucking wow. gas station. Wow, I th- I do remember feeling like I heard something about gas station, but oh, I didn't know about like grocery I mean, store. Still I guess now, really you not can, much of a difference. You can get some sketchy shit at gas stations. Yeah. Have you really? Have you looked in that little pill cabinet that's in there? Or that little, you know, in that little cabinet. You never looked in there? No, I don't fucking. It's like, like ener- like these weird, huge energy pills. A lot of, I think one of them's called the Rhino. You know, like the yeah. boner pills. Oh, yeah, like, I was gonna say. I bet there's some boner shit. Like you gotta, ma- I, I mean, it pro- some simple research could probably answer this question. But I am very curious. What the fuck could they be putting in there that they could just sell at gas stations that's gonna give you a boner? Like it can't be anything good. Like for your body. Man, does that mean they're actually using ivory too? Because if so, that would be fucked up. My fucking phone just said no sound detected. You know, it it was saying that earlier too. And I just didn't catch it? Yeah, I, I looked and saw it. It's, it's fucking cool. I don't give a shit. I mean, you have your phone. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Like, T- tell me how, how, that, how that thing's fucking going though. Well, you know, it. I like it a lot. There's a part of me that wishes. It's $200 cheaper right now. Because, like, the this is the Ultra Galaxy S20 Ultra. 20 Ultra. Yeah, it's a mouthful. But it's fucking, I really like it. I spent $1,500 on it because I was just, like, bored and quarantine And, like, I guess quarantine really wasn't quarantine even. Quarantine hadn't even happened yet. I mean, what was that, like, March 6th? I think it came it out. Is, oh, no, you're it, right. It, it was like... It was right on the cusp. It was right on the cusp of that, and I was just sort of just, like, bored, and my school wasn't going, and I was just like, all right, so I did that, and... Uh, kind of regretted it a little bit because I, I, my phone wasn't, you know, having issues or anything. I could have just kept it's it. It's a badass phone, though. Like, look at that thing, dude. I like I, it. I'm it's a fan fat. of the punch hole design, personally, with the camera. Um, I wish Apple would get rid of the notch. I, uh, I don't think they will because no matter what they put out, people will just buy it. So, like, why the fuck would you even waste your time? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, they're God, gonna that keep... thing is a fatty. It's, it's fucking enormous, man. You know, I've never had problems with this phone, though. The fucking, just the iPhone S. I've been rolling with this for a little while. No, nah, I mean, dude, I'm not like an Android snob. I have, I've had two iPhones. I loved both of them. Yeah, and, you know, they were the most, like, durable, long-lasting. I always trusted it. Like, I fully trusted it. Even with my Android, sometimes, like, there's little things about it that I, I don't fully trust like i do my iphone like i like the like the big screen and like the camera or whatever that but i just i fucking ridiculous I've, camera dude yeah that, I have the zoom on that, that thing is like it's creepy 
It's crazy. if you get you yeah. this f- if a pervert gets their hands on this fucking phone. <laughs> I mean, I if I, I if I had access to all the pictures, I bet if you were scrolling through them, you would find some like through the window across the street. I mean, because if you if you guys are ever curious, like look up fucking videos on YouTube just to see how ridiculous it is. Like, it should probably be like not allowed because it has the potential to be like a true spying tool. Yeah, it's insanely fucking magnify like that is some times. spy movie shit dude. i know like i have like binoculars that are like 50 time magnification which isn't even that much but like it's it's double that for a fucking phone camera it's all like <sighs> it's all like zo- blotchy and like pixely but still like i mean we were fucking looking down the street it's oh yeah sh- it's you're like half a mile you can down read the street. it pretty clearly I, I know yeah that was it's it's honestly ridiculous well, I mean, I don't really use it for much because, like, you can't, like, the pictures you could take at 100 times zoom are, are like, shitty, basically. But, and, like, when would you really... Never. I would just get closer to the object. It's just cool that it can't do it. It's just like a party trick. I yeah. can show up and be like, hey, watch this. And they're like, whoa. It's, and, like, that's, like, <laughs> it was worth it, I guess, now, because I could make people say, whoa, that's cool. That's yeah. fucking hilarious. It's not very fun. I think it was more of just a flex. Yeah, you know, um, it's so awesome that I got the fucking iPad right at the same time. We both, like, got and, new toys. Dude, and you fucking got it at Fred Meyer, and they fucked up the price on dude, it. Dude, I know, twice in a row. I know, it had dude. to be worked up twice, and they fucking... And they still never caught on. Like, I think it said right on the box, like, the price. And then, yeah. like, blatantly oh, yeah. rung up on the the ringer as, like, hundred, a couple hundred... What was it, a hundred, two hundred? It was, like, a little over a hundred less. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> Woo, yeah, that was awesome. That's just good. And, and that's the good pen karma. was on sale. It was legitimately on sale. Yeah, that's... Man, After Fred all Meyer. the shit we went through to Best Buy, We're calling the Best, Best Buy's at, Target. Yeah, and then just the old fucking Freddy's. Woo, that just worked out, yeah. The Freddy's never lets fun. you down. Shout out fucking Fred Meyer Bellingham. That's, yeah. They got a great operation They do. There. Oh my God. Never let we were down. at fucking Lark going to... Shout out to Lark, too. Nothing but love for that place. Yeah, I feel bad for the fuckers trapped in Lark right now, though. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to be in Lark right now. Yeah. Like, I we're would going on what, still a month and a half here. of this shit. Like, maybe even... I don't even really know. I've lost track. It, but yeah, I, it I would like start to go the stay-at-home order is getting extended again. That's fucked up for the casino. I hopefully Las Vegas fucking... <laughs> boom, you know. so can get you some money. Give me some money. I'm, I'm invested in Las Vegas. I need them to open, so... I don't know the mayor's name, but I know she's... Pr- pretty widely despised right now but i'm i'm, I'm claiming my support for her right now i hope she opens oh my god you son of a you bitch. know but i hope if, that if they just watch the video for the sake of comical relief because it, it i is, get it. it looks like an snl I, skit, you know what, dude i'm saying this cl- and i'm admitting i've never watched an interview with her but i know what she's trying to push um, and you know, if they do do it i'm sure you know put some social distancing measures some plexiglass on it have like a fucking little ringer that goes off every 15 minutes. A crew comes out and wipes it down. You know, if you do that, people will feel more comfortable. And then, you know, that effort will be rewarded with more people coming to the casino. Because they're like, oh, wow, they're handling their shit. You know, I can go gamble and feel pretty confident about it. But if you're just like lackadaisical, you know, and don't want to spend the money, then people are going to get sick again. You know, I'm, I don't want people to get sick, but I do have a personal interest tied into the casinos being open. Seriously. Which it looks like they are. I don't know. I haven't been following the news too much, but the stock's going up, so I think it means some people know some shit, you know? Like, someone just invested, I think, $13 million in it. Oh, my God. Like, two days ago, when that happened, I was like, they know yeah. some shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Seriously. So, and that boosted it up, like, a couple points, honestly. It was insane. Wow, dude. That's yeah. awesome that you're in that game. Dude, bore- boredom pushed me to it. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes boredom... It's, it's been bad for me a little bit too, but yeah, like I was bored. I had a few grand laying around and I just, you know, was wanting to have fun with it in the stock market because I had nothing better to do. And I figured, you know, if I lose it, like what's the worst that can happen? I don't have, like, I don't have a house or a car, like a car payment. Like I own all my shit. My rent's paid. Like, fuck it. I don't, I don't really care. And I gamble. And it's, it's paying off a little bit, but I'm not going to get too excited because I don't want to get cocky. Like shit can all crash down. I could still lose it, but. We just, we need this shit to be over so people can start gambling their money again. That's all I'm saying. Fuck. I'll be one of them, too. I'll, I'll go back to the casino if, if they open. Fuck. Good for you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, i just been doing this fucking 
master class, still busting that out. Uh, fucking just reading, you know, doing these brain exercises. Fucking just school and then creative endeavors. Sort of keep me sane through it all. Yeah, I mean, my my creative endeavors have been... I've written a few bars. I've sent you some. I'm not going to say any here, but, you know... I, they're, they're pretty good. Fuck yeah, you did. They got some... They got, they're got. they pretty cool. Uh, gonna gonna probably put out a song at some point. Record uh, some shit this Saturday. Yeah, yeah you know, Woo! so... I, I hope that we can get something good. You know, if anything, it's just a good experience to, like, lay it down and try yeah, some Yeah, seriously. Shit. I wish your fucking booth was, was here. here. I mean, we could... It, could we do a setup here? Like, is there a way that we could record music here, or is that, is that just out of the question? We have to go to beat him every time. I mean, we... Well... I mean, you know like, I don't know the process. I'm just saying. Um, we we could, but it, it would be uh, way harder. Yeah. For sure. Like, just, it'd be easier at that point just to, like, drive. Yeah. Like, at that point, I'd just prefer to drive, because, you know... Um, I've I've only got one mic down here, just this like cheap snowball mic. Yeah, and that would wouldn't even really be it wouldn't be nearly as good. As That's what I I mic. fucking used to do though. There, there's been a, In part a fucking of me, big room like we could f- find a closet. I mean, I know hang up I, some blankets I, and I've shit. I've seen the setup back then. That was sick, but I don't know. I uh, I could probably just as easily like because it's more mostly for practice. Like when I really want to record it, we'd go to Beham anyway. Yeah. So it's really just for practice shit, but like I could just do that without the the need to record it. Cause, I mean, I don't know. I I hope that I can I can string some shit together. Like that's the hard part. I mean, that's what you do, you know. Like I don't. I'm really not good at this at all. Like I can think of like bars, like individual bars, but like to string a lo- like a, something that's like conscious and like maintains like a like something that actually like makes sense or like tells a certain thing. Like it's actually hard. Like rather than just having like random bars. Like that doesn't. Yeah. Like, if it's just going to be, like, a bunch of random bars like that, like, okay, yeah, they they rhyme and they're kind of, like, funny, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, I would rather just not. Well, you know, th- there's a time and a place for that. Th- like, th- seriously, think about how many artists have made it doing that. But f- I don't like any of those guys. Like, I want to yeah, make music, no. if I ever did, that it'd be something that I'd listen to. Like, that's yeah, my game. Yeah, seriously. If it's not something that I'd listen to, I'm just, like, you know. I'll well, you know, there, there's also some OGs who pull it off pretty well. You know, like, Snoop still does it. And for the most Wait, part, Snoop, Snoop, is a Snoop fucking does legend. have themed songs. And, he does, yeah. But um, I mean, I get he's kind of like a little off-the-wall kind of, but I can't do what Snoop does. I, I there's definitely, no fucking well, way. Well, like, either. the thing, well, I guess what I'm saying is there's there's definitely plenty of examples of people who make really awesome songs that way. It's just really hard it's at that point it's easier to just make like a song with some consistent through line yeah i i mean i don't disagree i just i'm i'm a rookie man i've never even i'm just i'm just kind of dabbling right now i'm I'm writing a little shit i'm getting the wheels spinning i'm gonna try your toes in yeah 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 i'm getting i'm gonna try to get one verse and like that's where i'm starting a cohesive a verse that it's like you can pers- you can respect it you know because I'm not coming in here to be just like mediocre like okay. if I'm gonna make something like I want it to be something that like I'm like okay this is tight you know so if, if I put it out I, I truly believe it's tight that's awesome so I hope it comes out Ooh. fuck yeah dude I'm excited just to go up there and lay some shit down yeah me fucking too. I've been thinking about. I mean, I haven't like seriously been thinking about it, but I've been kind of wanting to go back up there at some points, just like being a different change of scenery. Yeah, especially yeah. you because you have such a nice fucking setup there, dude. Yeah, seriously, we'll probably go fucking buy a blunt. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Or maybe some edibles. Oh no, I don't think I could. I'm stoned as shit right now. Well, I don't think I could handle. Yeah. It just isn't like a. I couldn't like be creative and like be smart right now with my shit. Like, I honestly regret taking that hundred milligram edible. Really? I mean, yeah, because like I have like basically like no. Like my, sh- you know, like when you're like really high, like you just are just kind of like cruising along, but like you're not really like. I don't feel like I'm really in charge of the things I'm saying right now. Basically, like yeah. some shit's just kind of coming out. I'm nothing like bad or like anything I'm ashamed of or anything, but. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just not... I'm not fully controlling the vessel. 
<laughs> you know, and I like before like doing shit like this, I like to be like really in control of the vessel, and it's running a little loose right now. That's fine. So, can I ask you something? Of course. What compelled you? Like, what was the the I guess singular event, if you could sum it up into one, that prompted you to make that new Instagram the other night? The new Instagram. Fuck yeah. Um, one singular event. That's. I mean, that's crazy. I don't... I mean, I, I know it's been a long time it's been coming, pe- it's but, been but pe- like, explain it to me. Like, you were just, like, laying in bed, and you were like, you know what? I'm going to make a fucking I, I, Sonics page. I wasn't quite laying in bed, so I was, I, I've become nocturnal. I know I've told you that. I, and I know that's like, sounds, like, slightly like a joke or whatever, but it's actually true. Like, you care if I fucking rip this bowl? Oh, fuck no. Of course not. Yeah, become a little nocturnal. So I was probably, like... I don't know, like midnight last night, I went on a cruise, uh, just sort of driving around, listening to some tunes in my car, and I'm not tired at all, like, it's really not, it's like basically like in my internal clock, like probably like 7 p.m., um, so I'm just sort of cruising, I get home, I don't want to waste all my gas, I get home, I'm just like laying in my bed, and I had seen, I had seen like this like, I followed this, like, sneaker page that, like, showed these pair of shoes that, like, Kevin Durant, like, wore when he was, like, on the Warriors that were, like, throwing it back to, like, Seattle, like, repping it a little bit. And I just, like, earlier in the day, I saw that, and I was like, damn, that was so fucking tight. And then I was, like, thinking about that again a little bit. But when I got back home, I was just, like, chilling in my room. And, like, this feeling of, like, anger and and just, like, outrage and... You know, there's so many emotions, and uh, it's been building for for so, so long now, and I just was like, you know, I don't want to wait. I, I, I want this shit. I want them to understand how much it means to us in this city, which I know that there's a lot of people that might not care, but I know for a fact there's a lot of people that do. I You know, there's a lot of NBA fans, not even in the, in the city of Seattle, but across the globe and the country that, that really miss a team up in the Northwest up here, you know, there was so much history here and it's just, it's time. It's fucking been going on 12, 13 years. Yeah. So give me your cliff notes version of how that went down. Cause my understanding is that like Howard Schultz bought the teams like under the promise that, that he was going to stay into in Seattle and then he sold them to a different yeah, state. Well, yeah, he, there was like, so the city wanted, you know, it's kind of on the taxpayers at some point too, because I'm I'm pretty sure at one point it was like proposed in some taxes <coughs> to build a new stadium, and they didn't because like you know the Mariners have just gotten one I think not too long ago. I'm not really quite sure if that's the truth or I, one of the two, like the Seahawks or the Mariners. But uh, so that got declined, and so then it was like an issue of arena because like there was problems with key arena and stuff. So. The, uh, there was people trying to buy him and, and stuff, and he bought him, and, uh, or no, I don't know if that's exactly right, if he bought him, but he, no, he was trying to sell it, so he owned it previously, sorry, during all this time, the arena shit, what, they weren't getting a new arena, there was kind of concern about that, and he sold it, but he promised to sell it with the intent. Of, like, someone that's, like, really cares about the franchise and the city and, like, it's going to do right by the team. And it was interesting because he ended up selling it to to this investment group from Oklahoma. And people were very confused because it's, like, you would think... Yeah. Like, that... It's not a, a local thing that's doing it. Or, like, why would people buy it who don't live in the state of... Like, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, it's possible, but... So they tried and tried a little bit and... um Basically, they ended up just getting stripped away, uh, like, the next season after that sale or something like that. Wow. Yeah. That's fucked up, dude. And, you know, I think a lot of people at the time were, it's just like, oh, we're going to get them back soon. You know, like, this can't be real. Like, this is fucked up. And then it's, like I said, like, 12, 13 years by now. And That son of a bitch. Yeah. He's just walking free. He, I mean, I know he didn't really do anything criminal, but... Some he, he something bad. He should have had to pay the price in some way, like heavily fined or publicly humiliated in some <laughs> way. Like fuck that guy. I can't believe that. Do shit. you do you remember in 
eighth grade, we had to watch John Adams. Sometimes, like, I think it was, like, an HBO show or, like, a Showtime show with Paul Giamatti. And there was, like, everyone freaked out because there was one scene where you saw dude's dick when he got, like, tarred and feathered. Oh, he was, like, laying in the water and his dick's all out and shit? Is that what you're talking about? I don't think he was laying in the water. It was, like, this dude is getting fucked up for... I I don't remember what he did, but, like, (laughs) there's a mob. And they're, like, ripping his clothes off and they... You know, to pour hot yeah. tar. And so they were running with a bucket of hot tar. He, or like they ran so, like, so, him like a bunch him. of people just grabbed him, and then someone like brought oh, some hot tar well, and feathers. Yeah, do you not remember that? I don't particularly remember that. I don't think. I just remember one one kid in my class freaking out about it. Like upset this or happy? Because his dude's dick was out. <laughs> no, she was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, it was a girl. <laughs> yeah, of course it was. I mean, you know, yeah. I understand, you know, like, I'm not trying to judge, but, like, what was this? This was middle school? This was eighth grade. Oh, in eighth grade, like, if I saw, like, a titty, like, it's not like it, like, traumatized me or, like, <laughs> make me feel, if it was on, like, a, it was on, like, a movie like that, like, yeah. it was, like, the vice versa, this chick got tarred and feathered and her titties were out, like, yeah, it'd be, like, it'd be, like, a little bit of a big deal, you know, like, oh, shit, your, your titties are out, but, like, it wouldn't be, like, something I'd feel uncomfortable about, like, she was just trying to make a scene, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, but I won't name any names. Who was it? <laughs> Please I tell me. I, I, Is it someone really, we really care about? I mean, if they hear this, who cares? I'm, uh, I'm honestly blanking on her on her last What is her name physical? To... Des- describe the... her. Oh, oh God. Movie. I don't know if that's better. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm was it like a cool girl? With you. Yeah. It was a cool girl. Yeah, I'm not even Holy fucking shit, with you. That's, that's I, I can't remember cooler. her last name right now, but I'm not going to say her first name either. What color hair? Blonde. Um, brunette. Brunette? Oh, wow. Brunette. That was yeah. not what I was expecting. Um, no disrespect to the blonde girls or anything. Fuck. I just, that's the Here's I what I'll head. say, and don't say her fucking name, you fucker. Okay. Just don't say it. But, but here, here's so what I'll say. say. You'll know. You'll know. Okay. You said freshman year. I'll never forget this because oh, it no. felt so true in my head. I, and Miss, was it involve a carrot? No. What oh, the fuck? Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind about that story then. <laughs> never mind. I thought you were about to bring wow, that that's up. that's awesome. No, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. I'm talking about in gym class with Colton. Okay. You looked at this girl. The bug eye bitch? No. Oh, no. shit, shit, shit. All right. All right. You know what I'm talking about with that yes, one, though. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, no. I won't say we're, we're in fucking... You, you look at this girl, you look at Colvin, and I, and you're like, blah, blah, blah. That's a poopy butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, that one? <laughs> so I knew you would know. That just threw me for a fucking, a fucking, oh my god, that was crazy. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say her name because I could imagine her being really upset about it if she ever found out. Um, And I don't want to be responsible for that, but that's really awesome that that's who it was. Oh my god, that is so funny. Like I said, I'll never forget it. I looked at her and I was like, I... Laugh well, because it was great, so that makes true. a lot of sense too, especially knowing. No, her that was grade. freshman year, oh. but Lamont, you know, at that point, there's, same, same there's same hardly thing. a difference. I know, God, it's, it's weird driving by the freshman campus and it's like all blue on the outside. I now. know. I'm glad we didn't go in this time. Like I, you know, I, I know, I'm sure it's like a really nice facility and like it's a cool place, but it's like we were the really like the last ones of like a fucking era. Of that school. We you know were the mean? first kids there. I know, well, the, the freshman can- campus, but I'm just saying, like, we were the last graduating class at Mount Si. Oh, no, without I Without construction. Before they fucking, yeah. Like, that's fucking crazy. Like, they were starting construction Mark, it, this it's, summer. It's crazy because our high school experience was bookended by two sort of things like that. Like, we were the first class to go to the freshman campus, and we the were last. the last class to leave well, before we the We were a special, day. like, class of 2017, shouts out, because it's a, we have a good fucking class, honestly. In yeah. my opinion, I feel like I see the younger ones, and maybe I'm looking through a judgmental lens. I'm sure we're biased. I'm sure I'm very biased, and I'll, I'll admit that right away, but I think that they're fucking little phony assholes. <laughs> I don't like when I see them. 
it upsets me. I don't like them. You know what I mean? So uh, maybe it is coming from my end, but I'm not a fucking fan. Yeah. Yeah, no, I totally see But they're what having you're fun, and I want them to have fun and, and live their life, but. Well, it's a little bit different because those, like. They're, they're crazy. You know, like, like Ryder's group has always grown up with the sort I of mean, fucking rap. How movement. old is Ryder? 15. Dude, it's definitely some of his friends, if not Ryder, have gotten, like, some sexual acts performed on them. Oh, God, don't I'm, fucking say that. I'm sorry, but, like, that's what I'm saying about these younger kids. Like, back then, you know, even though it was close, really, and relatively in the timeline, we were a little more wholesome. We had a little more just, like, clean fun, I feel well, like. Well, like I said, I don't want to sound like the guy who's, like, blaming rap music, but... Playman like, rap. Bla- no, like, it could be. Like, dude, like, they Future grew up and... with a different, like, like when we grew up, there was still some fucking, like, rock going Yeah, it, on. it was like Kanye West and fucking, like, Eminem. And that was, like, 2008. I know. Dude, we were already nine years old. I know, and, like, now, like, the shit that they're getting, it's, like, the baby and fucking <laughs> I know. Future. And, when I know. hear Ryder showering, when I hear his fucking music, I'm just like, oh my god. Well, like, my sister plays, like, straight-up country music, which I don't know which is worse. I mean, like, I'm not disrespecting either, because, like, you just like what you like. No, no, no problem. No, no but disrespect. I just really don't like I just music. really, like, I, that's the one. There's, like, like I, specific... I'm more likely to get down with, like, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, DaBaby, that's not even a question, but I'm just trying to think of, like, my most hated genre. I'm, I, it's hard because I really hate death metal music. Yeah. I hate that. That's the other, like, obvious. Part. Yeah, obvious. Like, that's obviously... See, here, like... here's the thing for me, though, is Linkin Park was sort of metal, but they were called new metal. But they had a... You. Yeah, they were a soft... They were a, They had a softer side to them. So, like, that's that's the only exception, I guess, I have. I'm still not into them, but because it's, like, kind of a similar type sound, but I do admit it's, it's very different from, like, the thing I was thinking in my head when I said <laughs> death metal. You know what I mean? Um, and I think I, I would say that I hate death metal more than country. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I, well, I also have an exception to the country rule cause I like Marty Robbins. I like Marty Robbins a lot. Marty Robbins made my favorite song. There the is, time. uh, but that's like fifties. What's the, the iron, iron, the big iron, big iron. Oh, yeah. That was sick. Song. Um, I'm trying to think, like, there's a couple of country songs I've heard, like, some old school ones that are, like, kind of tight. You know, Eric Church is, cla- or, uh, technically country. No. He, or, like, Mistress Name Music. I think he rock. has, like, phases of his career. In a way. Like, early he was very country, and I think now, I mean, he's still definitely, I don't really I, listen to him, but. Uh, I listen to a handful of the songs, for sure. Definitely a handful of his songs were very good, but the ones that I thought were good were always the ones that were not the country ones. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, there was always like a little bit of influence in there, but he, he's definitely kind of a different animal. But Dude, he's a cool guy. Mistress Name Music is a fucking beautiful yes, song. Yes, that is a fucking beautiful Holy song. Holy shit. That takes me back to the sophomore year. Because, you know, I break, I'm, like most people, I break my playlist up in like fall 2015, blah, blah, blah. That's, I never fucking do that, I don't have, like, fun. playlists. I just have, like, a mental library. Dude, it, it just takes cheating. you to a place. Like, every time I go back and see that playlist, I got a little picture for it from, like, that, that oh, time. Yeah. That's, like, a nostalgia um, waiting to happen right now. Yeah, so, dude, going into the fall 2015 playlist. I wish crazy. I did that, like, because, like, I just missed my chance now to do that, ever. Well, no, totally. You can still <laughs> yeah. go back and, like, Remember. Try, because there's a playlist when we had a shared computer downstairs from, like, oh, May. Oh, God, I don't even know. It was whenever we went to Maui for the first time. And I don't remember all that was on it, but there was Not Afraid by Eminem. Yeah, that, you Young know. Forever by Jay-Z. Oh, okay. That, that is a fuck. You know what that is? That's fucking fifth grade. No. That's. That was that's sixth I, grade. I think that was eighth grade for you. No. No, that's sick, dude. I remember that clearly. Yeah. Man. Like two thousand eleven. That's fu- Yeah, that's fucked up. 
That was a really cool That time. is fucked. I don't really cool. listen to any music from 2011, I feel like, anymore, but, uh... I the, still really like that song. Dude. What, Not Afraid? Yeah. I just... I And it's, like, no disrespect at all to Eminem. Like, I used to like him when in, like, in middle school and stuff, and I... And I honestly think some of his old stuff is really tight, too, but, like... I just like his voice. There's too much like aggression, in, in the song. Like, and and that's not like, I'm like it offends me or anything. Like, cause that's definitely not it. It's just like, the music I listen to, listen to. I'm I'm trying to like have it more be like a calm, more peaceful experience. Sure. And with Eminem, it feels like it's slightly abrasive in the delivery. Yeah. And like no, I feel subject like matter. You I'm know. I'm into it sometimes. <laughs> it just it depends on the mood. A bit Dude, of a darker he's got mood. some bangers. Well, not even like what's your favorite darker. What's your favorite Eminem song? Mine's Superman. Oh, good fucking call, yeah, dude. That's that, fucking, that is a really good that's song. That's my favorite. That still slaps. Yeah, that slaps no matter what. Um, uh, God damn it. Good question, dude. I don't know. I'm probably like something around the sixth grade era. So that's like relapse, recovery era? That, uh because relapse is, what is 09, recovery is uh, 11. I two think. trailer park girls go around on the outside. Right that's the outside. Uh, right the that's outside. without me. Without me. On uh, the same album that Superman's on. That's probably the, the M&M my favorite. Show. That's Eminem my song. favorite Eminem album. Like, from, for oh, sure. Oh, you know, you know what it was for a long time, though? Huh. When I'm Gone. That's that's a darker song. That is sure, a darker song. Holy shit, yeah, no, dude. I don't even know what album... That was released on Encore, I think, but maybe... I, I honestly... Don't. I think it was Encore. I don't really Dude, did that... I know the song for sure. <sighs> yeah, I just remember, like, the first time I listened to that, I was like, wow, that's some fucking storytelling. Yeah, no, and Stan, and beat, too. Dude. Oh, yeah, Stan. That's Didn't a, Stan win a fucking Grammy? I don't know, I think so. I think it won an award, but I remember he, like, uh... Because, you know, he said, like, fag and stuff in his music... People were coming at him for being homophobic. And, for the Grammy. But Eminem doesn't care about the Grammy. Honestly, fuck the Grammys. The time, the the moment they gave, in like 2012 Grammys, I think it was, they gave the heist, the best rap album, for <laughs> fucking over, Good Kid, yeah. Mad City. Well, fucking Eminem performed at the Grammys, and uh, he performed Stan, I think, because it won or something. Or maybe it was nominated. And, and uh, it was like he, an act he did of it harmony. John. Yeah, with Elton John, the legendary harmon- <laughs> harmonious act of the guy. That was, was so like, cool. I know, it was cool, you I know? I love Elton And they John. still, like, Elton John, like, I think they, like, have, like, a really good friendship. God, I still need to watch that movie, Rocket Man. Dude, Weez, you need to watch The Last Fucking Dance. I- I- I'm telling you, dude. Like, you're, you're sleeping on it a little bit because it's sports and that's not your big thing. But it is... So sick, like, I, my mom watched four hours straight of it. Like, literally, because the, the episode three and four this past Sunday came out at, at 6 p.m. So at 4 p.m., I was like, okay, we're going to watch one and two, so then we could just hop on three uh-huh. when it comes out. So we watched one, two, three, fucking, and then four. And she, after the episode four ended, she was, like, pissed that it ended because she, she was like, fuck. That yeah, was she was thing. just telling me. She was telling you, too. Like, seriously, dude, you gotta check it out. And she's not into sports at fucking all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check it out. We could do, like, there's that, like, thing, I think, where you can, like, watch it together. What do you mean? Like, you can get, like, on your computer and, like, send, have, like, yourself in the corner. And you just, like, watch a movie together. Wow, that's fucking cool. Yeah, I and then... That was the thing. Yeah, yeah, you just get the camera. I actually don't know if I just made that up. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that that exists. Like, I've seen, like, certain things about it, I think. You you used to do that, be able to do that in Xbox Live. Really? This I never was a, rolled with This live. was in, like, sixth grade, like, a long time ago. But um, if you guys were friends on Xbox and you both had the Netflix app and you were, like, in a party, you could watch a movie together and it was, like, your little, like, avatar and their avatar were sitting in two little seats and it was like a movie theater screen and it just like played the movie and you're like in a party with the guy and you like see him in their little seat just chilling and it's wow. like it was fucking fun dude that's awesome yeah i uh i got an xbox 360 but not until well after we had a ps3 for a while and um so we didn't like ever buy live we just 
played whatever console games because we could play all our games online on the fucking PlayStation for free. Are you buying the next one? Uh, I don't know. Are you buying an Xbox? Unlikely, but I'll give it a You're going to keep... You're telling me that your mind is open right now. Yeah. But as a consumer, my my goal is the best product. The best bang for my buck. But from what I've been hearing, it's not sounding good for either one. But I have always been a PlayStation guy. For yeah. Sure. You know, I had the PS2, then I went to the Xbox for 60, and then I had a PS4. So I've lived both. Um... And I know this maybe some people, I guess, there's like a small chance or some people might get offended by this, but I'm just going to straight up say it. I, I refuse to get in another, any Microsoft products because they're just shitty. Every time I've ever used a Microsoft product, like post Xbox, like when the Xbox One and shit came out, I've just been like purely disappointed with it. Like I had one of their tablets at one point, it had like no apps, but you had to get like third party Snapchat and like dumb shit like that. And then, like, the Xbox One, I've used those, and they're just, like, confusing as shit. They have, like, a bunch of little menus in them, and it's just not nearly as simple or good. And Yeah, the One didn't look very appealing to me. No, it like... hard to navigate. No matter what they put out, I will just not get it. Dude, like, Forza was awesome, though. Forza Horizon 3, or 2, for I don't remember which one it was, but the, one of those games I, like... Dude. Yeah. That, that was... You had such a dope setup in those days. It was... I peaked, bro. I peaked, <laughs> I peaked at, like, fucking 14. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, I had, like, a basement fucking TV mounted on the wall, couch in there, like, just, like, a gnarly setup. And You know, like, I I hate to sound like the dude who's like, yeah, high school was the best time of my life, but, like, to a certain extent, there, it is, like, you know, I mean, I can't generalize everybody. A lot of kids had some pretty horrible... High school experiences yeah. got got bullied pretty hard, but like there wasn't I, that many. I, I'm, like I'm just saying, though. like the thing is, when you're in high school, that's a certain like peak you can never get back. Because when you're just a kid, like you can you can get away with so much shit. Like the second you turn eighteen, like you can't go fucking ding dong ditch it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I definitely miss high school. I mean the the class and like. Like, the stupid work that, like, I wasn't making me feel smarter or, like, any more capable as a person, but I, like, had to do it anyway. Uh, that kind of sucked a lot, but, you know, like, the social times, like, just purely fucking around. <laughs> like, that was the best part of high school, you know what I mean? Like, I knew, like, there was no real repercussions. I got expelled one time, but it was, like, a temporary, <laughs> temporary thing. They let, you, they let me back in, like, and the best part about it is, like, the joke was kind of on on my teachers and stuff because like I just missed like three or four weeks and, and I came back and like I wasn't responsible for any of the shit that I missed like I will admit oh my, my like God. my month long vacation was a little stressful because I was worried if I was going to get back in but like after a while like I just sort of like had like I was like I'm just going to be hopeful and like I just didn't do shit like I was just playing video games like I was expelled all my friends were <laughs> oh my that's so fucking funny dude and I got expelled because I thought you had to make that shit up no, I just, wow. they rolled me right back in, dude. <laughs> wow. It was sweet. I uh, if I hadn't got expelled before, I should I should have waited until like senior year to do that shit, because that's when it was tough, you know. Like ninth grade was all, was pretty easy. I should I should have <laughs> waited till the tough time. Yeah, but by the time ninth grade rolled around, that wouldn't have flied as, or fucking twelve. You know, senior year. Yeah, like, I I that, that was a different topic. I don't think I should have been expelled. I'm not gonna go too do, far. Do, into, yeah, I'm not gonna go too far into depth about it, um, but basically, I tried some comedy on the bus. <laughs> uh, I was trying to be funny and silly. I was, and I, I mentioned, I mentioned just like something about a firearm. <laughs> oh my god! And like nothing in a threatening. Well, not like, <laughs> not like anybody was ever said was gonna get killed or I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> There was never, like, any aggressive nature. I was just trying some fucking jokes, sort of, like, trying to make people laugh about it. And uh, one kid in particular, of course, I won't say his name. I'm uh, pretty sure it was... Bleep. Um, uh, fuck you if you ever hear this. Bleep. Uh, <laughs> you're a piece of shit. Your parents in I'm, I'm going to have to bleep that out. <laughs> you're shit. You're going to bleep that out? Yeah, I'm going to bleep that out. God damn. Well, anyway, his parents got real upset, and 
basically told the school that I did it and they expelled me. But I got let back in because I went to go like see this like this like superintendent or whatever, like some guy and he like asked there was like a little interview thing and he, he obviously knew I wasn't like a dangerous threat or like a like a crazy person at all. Like I just was saying I told him it was a joke and like I never never even did anything that bad and uh so he let me back in, so Overall, I would sit right the experience like a seven six out of ten, because there was a lot of stress involved, but mostly it was pretty relaxing. Wow, dude. Yeah, ninth grade. That was that's great. insane. That was the only time that ever happened though. I got one in school suspension, but that's like failing. Yeah, I got one in school suspension. Did, at Twin Falls? No, at fucking. Uh, um, outside. Because I got one at Twin Falls. I got, like, two at Twin Falls, but in Mount Si, my high school, I only got one. But in Twin Falls, it was the worst shit. At 7.30, you get there, and they put you in a room with a table, like a round table. And you sit there with nothing, and you just sit there. Like, they don't even let you do your homework in there. That's what it fucking was. You know how pain- painful that was for, like, a fucking, like, 13-year-old kid to do that for like seven hours they're like yeah you got lunch they let you get lunch and bring it in there which was kind of nice but wait you how much how long would you do that like eight hours <laughs> what from the start of the school day to the end of the school while day. everyone else was in class while everyone else was in class wow yeah it was fucked up i i got it like i, I won't i definitely won't say names on this one but like I, I kind of deserved it on this one, but it really also was not aggressive. Something bad did happen to somebody's eye. <laughs> but it was really, like, a playful thing. So, the, uh, in science class, I think it was, like, sixth grade or seventh grade, uh, one of the earlier grades, we had, you know, like, when you're looking at shit in the microscope and you get those two little glass slides, Ugh. you put it in between. So, I had one of these glass slides, right? And I, like, threw it, it and it, like, fucking bounced off the top of this of this locker of this girl that I knew and it it came and and cut her in the cornea <laughs> shut the fuck up I swear <laughs> I fucking, I can't believe that I swear yeah I'm and her parents were understandably outraged <laughs> <laughs> I think they were calling for me to get yanked out of school but dude it was a freak accident a oh, fucking a freak accident yes a fucking freak accident. Like, I, I of course, threw it, but it was not with the intent to hit her in the eye or cut her cornea open. Of course. You know, I didn't, like, throw it out of her face. It was, like, a ricochet situation. So, Ugh. it wasn't... They had a camera, too. It was nice because a camera backed me up. It was it was very, like, uh, innocent. You know, obviously, I did it, of course, but, like, it shows me doing this and... You know what I mean? Like, it's not a... Not too big of a deal. I guess no one saw that with my hands, but it wasn't... It wasn't intense. One is in school suspension for that. Pretty mild if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, you know, the biggest trouble I got in into in middle school was uh and there's two parts to this. So in the art teacher's room, again, we'll not say any names, but he was a math teacher when my when Parker uh, my and... mom was in school. Oh, wait, wait, and he's wait. He's a math wait. teacher now. What? The art teacher. Mr. Old Man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say his name, nice. but everybody knows nice, who it is. Nice, yeah. dude. Okay, so, so that fucking guy. Yeah. Um, where I was in that class, and I was with Leo, and we're, you know, water, washing our hands in that giant metal sink after class. And we, like, grab, you know, there's that little, like, uh, like, uh, screen in the drain. Oh, yeah. So like shit just yeah, go so, through. Uh-huh. Leo grabbed it and pulled it out. And we were like, oh. And he's like, stuff that shit. So I take a bunch of paper towels. Oh my and God. I stuff this shit. And I leave the six running. And we fucking take off. I get in a bunch of trouble. I have Leo to. Leo gets out, gets out of it. Huh? <laughs> yeah. He, he always yeah, does. Well, okay, I'm going to see if I can try to describe this chick to you. Someone fucking ratted me out. It was... Uh, um, big girl with red hair. <laughs> it was like, like big girl. Sleep. No. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up She's right now. Weird, no, man. no. She's... Tall girl. And she had red hair. Skinny girl? Red No. 
A thick no. girl. <laughs> yeah. Or the big girl. Oh, shit. So yeah. Tall, big, big girl. Tall, <laughs> big girl. With red hair. What is her name? I'm going to say. What's the first letter of her name? Her name sort of rhymes with a derogatory slur for homosexuals. That's what I'll say. <laughs> that makes it so much more complicated in my head. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, I, gonna, don't fucking Ashley? say Ashley. No, no. Oh, okay. I don't I, know who you're talking about. <laughs> um, fuck. I feel like I can't. I already like described her. I can't give you the first letter. I'm just giving everyone fucking. Hands. You know, we don't have to find out. That's not that important. But well, I'd like to know. Anyways, know we're. Uh, we fucking get out of there. I have... Mr. Barber brings me in there. He's like, and I already know the answer to this, but did you do it? Sort of thing. And then I was like, yeah. 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 I like, I did it. And so, Mr. Bleep. Gave me fucking uh, lunch detention for... Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to bleep that out. God damn it. Mr. Old Man? <laughs> That's just, what you said. I heard oh Old Man. Oh, my God. Anyway, so I'm fucking... I'm, uh... Every Friday during lunch going in and like cleaning um and that was only because my punishment was originally going to be picking it out all the paper towels through the grates but then i just took the screen out and grabbed all the paper towels and he was like oh i didn't i didn't know you could do that What a like he was like there was some kid getting at it with pliers like getting between the little grates Trying, trying you should have just went out. Well, okay, here's the second part to this. Little did I know, our our buddy Colvin tells me a story one day. This is like t- two years ago, three oh, years ago. Please. Getting aggressive with him? Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. so get this. That same day, uh-huh. have it be, on the other side of the sink, him and another kid... Bleep. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Him and another kid are... Uh, are like, let's break his paintbrushes and stuff them down the sink. So they break, and you remember how he got about those that, fucking paintbrushes. That's more, um, like, evil in spirit. Yeah. Versus what you did. You just shoved some paper towels in there. They're they're not only breaking the shit. They're breaking the paintbrushes and the fucking faucets at the same time. So, so yeah, they're doing that on the other side. Leo and I have no idea. They get out of there. And the teacher runs out, grabs him by the neck. He's like, I know you guys did this, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh. we didn't fucking do this, blah, blah, blah. They oh. get sent to the office. And then eventually someone comes over and is just like, hey, they, they got the guy. You guys can go. And Colvin had no idea who that it, it was me until like he told me that story. And I was like, wait a minute. That is so fucking funny. Yeah, that wasn't the time about, that Mr. Bleep. got aggressive with. Colvin though, really? Yeah, he actually he he pushed Colvin down to the floor. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Yeah, it was it was crazy, dude. He uh, um, so basically, Colvin was like doing some shit, and and Mister Ullman was getting pissed. So he was like, get get out, get out, you know. And Colvin was like, you know, taking it real slow. And Mister Ullman shoves him from the back, and he, you know, Cole stumbles down to the ground, and Mister he kind of gets back up and like looks back, and Mister was like forcibly shoving him out of the room slams the door down and shit and we're just all the class was stunned i think it was like a you know kind of like a claim control oh my type of moment God. and he like was push colvin was like tripping over chairs and getting and getting shoved oh my out. god i think if anyone saw they would actually like have a serious sit down with him if, if not put him on probation for that do, shit. do you remember that room had like a big like window the garage door garage door yeah, yeah. Um, you set up a camera at one point. Oh, you remember wow. that, like the corner of the classroom by the kiln, like by the kiln room, there was that shelf, and so he set up like a flip cam right there to film the class because we were so fucking rowdy. And Colvin was in like a gym class, and they were coming back from from the track or whatever, and he like goes up to this window and starts doing all sorts of nasty shit <laughs> to us in the class, <laughs> and we're all like <gasps> pointing to the camera, <laughs> dude. It was so fucking funny. Dude, it's fucking Colvin. I I love that guy. Dude, we did all sorts of shit in that class. Fucking spitballs. I we had a sub one day when we were doing client, and I literally 
made a dick and balls and jerked it off on the table. Stood up on the table and jerked off my clay dick. Yeah, that was one of my go-to, uh, like, like humor things, you know? If I was trying to, like, get a rise out of a crowd, I, one of my first things was, was pretending to jack off. <laughs> like, not never, like, with my real dick out, of course, you know? But, like, take objects or just even simple hand gestures. Like, you don't even have to use an object. You just, you just pump make a pumping motion near yeah. the goods it, it's really in funny. middle school that shit's hilarious that's hilarious or, or it's way more raunchy <laughs> a lot more risque <laughs> but there's a different type of masturbation you can also simulate oh god that gets quite a quite a rise it's it's sort of one where you would apply pressure to the genitals <laughs> and, and rub it circularly and females tend to use it more than they used to. But oh yeah, that's that is definitely like you that's know, if I, you're trying I to take it to a level. On the bus for recreating you doing that one time. Yeah. Because you remember in a uh, the I don't want girl out you here. Shlee. And pissed her pants in preschool too on the floor. <laughs> I won't say her last name, but I hope she hears this, so she can't get that mad. <laughs> this is I'm making this person up, you know. Quote we're making this person up, but yeah, she like kneeled down and like she <laughs> oh the bathroom God. is right there and she like fucker, dude, it's preschool. Fuck off. Well, all right, I won't say the name. Oh I'm my detail, God, but I don't like that girl at that, all. No, me neither. Three bus rides with that well, girl. Well, like here's one. <laughs> oh my God. Here's what, and I don't want to out you here, so stop me. If if out me, I, I should. Yeah, but there was one time in a certain math class, <laughs> you're you're like. Teacher, teacher, like, look at me, and you're jerking oh. off a water bottle. You know who I'm talking about. Freshman year. The dungeon. Freshman, <laughs> the dungeon. This happened yeah. in the dungeon. This happened in the dungeon. The and, uh, and then she was like, knock it off, Derek, and turned around and fucking wrote some shit on the board. And then you kicked your leg up on the table. I took it to the new level. Fl- <laughs> I brought it up fl- level. Flicking, and teacher, teacher... And then she turned around and was the same fucking deal. Like, oh my god, Derek, knock it off. I tell that story on the bus. <laughs> a very backseat right under the table. <laughs> 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 like, everyone... I remember like, they thought it was the funniest fucking... Oh, god damn. Of course, she leaves. Then, you yeah. know, we don't have to... Bro- if oh we say... Bleep. We don't have to... Bro- it, um, no, it, it was ridiculous. And then the story that I got was that... What... Bleep. Told... The bus driver was that I was trying to get her attention. She was in the front. I was trying to get her attention, and uh, and when she refused to give it to me, I made a disgusting gesture at her. Yeah, she and, like they they could see me on the cameras doing it. I'm right under it. Dude. She deserves to get. Out. I got kicked off of the bus. Yeah, I got kicked off the bus for like for... two days. Oh, I was the rest of the high school. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, after uh, the incident where I, was oh, I Robbie, guess that makes sense. I I was let back in, but I couldn't ride the bus ever again. Ever again? <laughs> I snuck on a few times. I can't believe. I that. snuck on a few times. Wow. Yeah. How did I not know that, dude? Well, I got my license like. Six months after that. Eight months after that. So, like... So, you were always driving to school. Well, it was one year. Or it was one... Because that happened in, like... January. And I got my license in August. So, it was, like... I had just, like, the rest of that school year. Six months. I just got registered my parents. And then 10th through... My parents would have been... My mom didn't drive for a while. Um, I remember that. But she's good now. She can drive now, right? Yeah. Or she just, she, she drives all the time. She just does it under the radar. No, she she went and got her license again. Oh, so she's a licensed driver. Yeah, beautiful for sure. Has been for a while. Never heard how long. Uh, good fucking question. Actually, that came up recently, and I stopped and I was like, "Holy shit! I forgot you didn't drive for a while." Like that was that was strange. I don't I don't remember when. No, because that happened before I was born. I think. Over or under five well, minutes. It makes her sound like we're, like she's a criminal. Like she got a fucking DUI or something. <laughs> it does, honestly. No, she did not. That's definitely not the... I don't know if you want to share it, but that is definitely not the case. No, I, I don't know if I should. No. 
Um, but she, it was never anything. She she had the ability to, to drive. It was more of just like... Yeah, she just like didn't want to yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm... Maybe it kind of had to have been before I graduated. You know, because she fucking takes them to dance and shit. Dude, I just remember getting our van when she got pregnant with Parker. Because it that was like, well, this, this little Honda can't accommodate the fucking four children anymore. So, uh... It's like a bus. Yeah, I, I went with my dad. My dad and I went up to do it. I remember I played a Sinbad game on his fucking flip phone. When you were and buying like, the van? Yeah, I'm like, here's a perfect time frame. There was a Wallace and Gromit movie in theaters. And I, think I don't it was even know what the about fuck the that is. Dare Wallace and Gromit? Did I, say, did I say that right? Yeah. Are never, you serious? That, that sequence of words has never even entered my ears before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally serious. Derek, I'm... Well, I... What's um, it about? I guess it's uh, it's uh, like a claymation... It was a claymation show. I, I don't even know when that was on. It was like when claymation was really early and it's... That's crazy. It's about... Uh, a so it's dude and like his yeah and like, I think it was a sheep and there was like the a movie that came out whenever we were getting that van probably I think it was like 2006 around 2005 and I think it was like something about a were rabbit some shit like that but I remember because we stopped at beach like a little orange home. thing no it was big oh because I thought I remember rabbit. like like this I don't know what I'm no Wallace and Gromit in God damn. I'm honestly going to have to go look that up. I'm trying to think like what era that came out. I'm just trying to finish The Sopranos, dude. It's a slow burn. Season four. If you've ever made it to season four, if you've ever listened to this, you'd know it's a slow burn. It's hard to get through. Yeah, it happens. But, you know, I've, I, I've retained all the good shit from it uh, from the last four seasons. Like, I'll be able to pick up it at any time. I'm just... It's hard just to, like, throw yourself into it. Like, it's an hour of just, like, pretty slow build up, you know? I have a hard time finishing TV off, shows. Yeah, I, I get I'm a movie hooked guy. on them. I'm a movie guy. Yeah, me too. I've been trying to rewatch The Godfathers, but they're like off all the streaming shits, so I have to pay for it. I don't have any money. Yeah, people started pulling that shit strategically from fucking, you know, streaming to rent once all, all this shit happened. People are at home, so they're forced to rent it. It's fun, dude. I've been watching a lot of movies. I've been just... Watching all like archive sports and shit. Dude, I just watched that new Chris Hemsworth Netflix movie with my parents, Extraction. Have you seen anything about that? No. It's awesome. It's like very John Wick, but he's like sent to go fucking rescue a, a kid uh, between like two drug lords. It's like one of the drug lords. Um, Chris Hemsworth? Is that how you said? Yeah. And it, dude, That's cool. it's like really cool. It's it's just one of those like, like action. action movies. He seems like an action but movie star. It, it's it's like John Wick level fucking. The, all the fucking I was counting bullets and shit. The crazy reloads and like they did a whole sequence that was probably twelve minutes where they made it all look like one shot. Like even going out the back windshield and shit. So it's really really violent. like really violent. Yeah, That's sweet, because John Wick's are like some of my favorite movies. Honestly, I still need to watch two and three, dude. Dude, two is I you know everyone says they like three better than two, but I actually really really like two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking bust those out. Well, dude, we should end on that. It's ten forty six. Yeah, fuck yeah, sounds good. Holy shit! Well, thanks for doing that, dude. That's so awesome. First guest. Woo-woo. Absolutely. I just you know I I want to leave off by saying if you if you're hearing this I I and you and you feel a particular way about the Supersonics, uh, you should follow my Instagram. It's uh, dear NBA underscore bring back the Sonics. You know, and I think Weiss has, Weiss has posted it, and you'll be able to find it. But I'm posting stuff every day. Uh, I'm reaching out to the commissioner every day. Um, I'm reaching out to people, you know, who have influence in the sport, um, trying to get them on board and like you know start some momentum. So if you wanna you wanna just kind of follow along and and show a little support, that's that's the handle. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck well, yeah. I'm fucking pumped to do that. Yeah, thanks for having me on, bro.